I'm Giancarlo. And I'm Felicia. And this is our review of... Fate of the Elder Gods. Yes. This looks... Cool, huh? I mean, I'll, I'll cool. tell you, I'll tell you something. This is probably the best box I've seen so far. Ever, right? In terms of UV printing, so you know this UV yes, printing, the, it's the, this thing that yeah, it's well you really, have you have really the clash of matte and uh, yeah, very and very nice. Illustré. But is the game any good? Is the game any good? Find out coming up. Time yeah, every every year there's a, like a dumb stupid thing. Remember this? There was the Harlem Shake. I, I was just you just, you just said I Harlem was Shake. Gonna, I was just gonna. So then there was the there was the. Uh, Gangnam Style, so everybody's yeah, doing the Gangnam style. style. Then it was Harlem Shake. Then it was Dabbing. Then it was Dabbing. No, actually, Dabbing is the new thing. Before that it was, was fucking Mannequin. Was it? Yeah, I think I don't they, know, I I see think they summer. And it was Fidget Spinners. That's 2017. Holy shit, that was the summer. That was like, yeah. That was, that was 2017. It was Fidget Spinners. So every year, there's like, and I want to know who comes up with these dumb things, and I want to pick their brains. I think it's one. I think it's like a conspiracy theory. No, and it's one person. One person always comes. It always comes up like this year. It's gonna be pajama jama ma ma ma, and it's like it's gonna be some. Did you think we can get that to go viral? Pajama mm -hmm. ma 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 ma. Pajama <laughs> ma 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 ma. I think. Uh, did you see the chart? I'm just gonna out him out. Oh, this God. is what he listens to his music on. For you, those of you who don't know, this is a tape player. Giancarlo sits there with his Bakshi Boys tapes, puts them in, puts his little earphones on and presses play, and this is how he goes to bed at night. Just thought you should all know. In this Lovecraftian themed game, players take on the role of cultists trying to summon their god unto the world. What will be the fate of your god? Let's find out. Game is set here with each player having a different god which will have unique special abilities. And the spell and artifact cards laid out around the altar board will be randomly drawn and placed. To claim victory, you can either be the first to summon your god by moving your summoning marker on 9, or be the player with the least Elder Signs seals when a player has 10 of these on their player boards called Lodge. On the active player's turn, they'll play a spell face down the column where the fate piece is. This will move the fate piece to the location shown on the back of the spell card you played. You can also choose to play two matching astral symbol to move the fate piece to any location. If the location where you move the fate piece has three or more investigators, move them all to your lodge. You'll then place a cultist from your lodge onto the location. If you have none, you'll take two from the abyss and place one on the location and one in your lodge, but you'll also gain an elder sign. These will be placed on the first highest number space on the lodge tracker. Should it ever reach here, you have lost. We then activate the location. Each will have an effect like gaining artifacts, drawing spell cards, sending investigators to other lodges, gaining cultists, or increasing your summoning gauge. If you have three cultists and are the faction with the most there, you'll have control of that location and gain a bonus effect. If you don't, you can always roll the die and gaining this result will give you that bonus as well. You'll conclude your turn by readying a spell card if you choose to. To do so, you'll match the symbols on the current location, including the one on the altar board, with the spell's requirement by showing it to other players, covering the text here, and placing it face down here and discarding all cards at that location. Now that astral symbol can also be used as well for the requirement for the next spells you're ready without using it up. Most can be cast at any time, while others have restrictions and timing. At the end of your turn, you'll draw a spell card. Besides other players, you'll need to watch out for investigators. Whenever a lodge has five or more of them, they'll raid the player and he'll roll a die for each in his lodge. The dice will result in either some being destroyed and or gaining an Elder Seal. Remember, if you ever fill your last space with an Elder Sign, you'll lose. Besides this, when your summoning gauge enters a space with an Elder Sign, you become cursed. The player to your right will secretly read it, and when the timing is right, he'll read the curse out loud. First player to bring a summoning gauge here wins. Or should a player have his lodge full of elder seals, they'll lose, and the player with the least of these in his lodge wins. Fable Nexus and Greater Than Games are certainly blinging up the game scene with fantastic components and beautiful artwork. The UV printing is absolutely one of the best I've seen. But the pros don't end there. The game is high in theme, being from designer Richard Lanius, tactics, and strategy. There certainly is a lot of player interaction and power shifts in the game. 
Replay value is high with the different god abilities and solo mode. The game, however, is a little on the long side, and it is a slow start. And though there is some luck mitigation, there can be a big luck factor on not only the dice rolled, but the spell cards you receive. Still, some unique mechanics with great choices puts this game over the average score with a well-deserved 8 out of 10. If you have any questions concerning the game, please ask them below and we'll answer them as best we can. Subscribe now to our channel to stay in the loop. If you like our work, help us continue by sharing the channel to your gaming group. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.